All right, let's work. All right, let's work on Excel homework 5.2 beer. Download a file. All right. In this project, you will investigate the annual U.S. beer consumption per capita. You will estimate the slope and the y-intercept of the linear trend line and will forecast the U.S. beer consumption per capita in 2020. Okay. Um, step 1, start Excel, download and open the workbook names, chapter 5, at beer start. We got that. All right, in B7, we're going to calculate the number of years since 1980. Hmm, number of years since 1980. Um, we're going to fill that cell B7 down the column to B17. Let's do that. So right here, um, well, years since 1980, for 1980, is just zero, right? Because it's zero years since 1980. But I want to be able to use, I want to be able to fill this formula down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Uh, equal sign, click on 1980, um, A7, and subtract 1980, and hit enter. So I got zero. But for the next one, I should get, well, 1985, I should get five, right? Because it's five years since 1980. So let's see if it will do that. And it did that. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this all the way down. So for 2017, well, that's going to be 37 years since 1980, so that, that looks perfect. So we got step number two, simply by subtracting. All right, in cell G12, now this is a new function for us. Use the slope function to calculate the slope of the linear trend line. So we're going to format G12 as number with two decimal places. So new function, slope function, there we go. So go to G12. I'm going to go ahead and click well set equal to now the function name is slope so do s l o p e and then we see there is the function if you click this now let me zoom in so that you can see what's going on well that that's not pretty so let me go back and zoom out can you see it says known y's and then comma known x's so what they want is they want the known y values first now the y values are going to be um well, we're writing a function um, of, of years, the number of years since 1980, um, to figure out the, the beer consumption uh, per person. So what we are going to do is for the Y's, go ahead and click on, select C7 all the way down to C17. So these are going to be our Y values. Okay, and let go. And do comma. And for the second, we're going to put all the input values, the x values. We're going to use the number of years since 1980. So click from B7 all the way down to B17. And let go and hit enter. Um, they wanted you to convert this to, uh, well, format it as number with two decimal places. So look, the slope is negative. What does that mean? That means um, as the number of years since 1980 increases, um, the gallon, the, the beer consumption gallons per person is actually going down, right? What's going on? Well, let's keep going. Um, so I'm done with step three. Step four, they want you to use another new function called the intercept function to calculate the y-intercept of the trend line. And we're going to format it as number with two decimal places again. Same exact thing. We're going to hit um, equal sign and type in the function name intercept. I-N-T-E. Oh, there we go. So intercept. And, you know, the input is going to be exactly the same. They want you to give you uh, give them the, uh, the known y values first. The y values are going to be the gallons per person. So I'm selecting C7 to C17. Put comma, and then let's put the known x values. X values are the number of years since 1980. So B7 to B17. Hit enter, and we're going to go ahead and format this as number with two decimal places. So that's good. So intercept, well, that means when x is 0, the value of the y, right, or the, input, or the output. So for our um, input, Remember, we used 0 uh, for 1980, right? So in 1980, well, the, the beer consumption was 
gallons per person. That's what this intercept mean here. All right, we're done with step four. What do they want now? They want you to determine in what year the Y intercept is an estimate of the US beer consumption per capita. I think we just talked about it, didn't we? So F17, uh, what year did we have a beer consumption of 24.445? Well, that was when the year since uh, 1980 was zero, and that is 1980. So I'm gonna type in 1980, or let's see if I can, oh, they have a drop down menu for me. I'm gonna go ahead and click this down and click on 1980. Cause that year is our year zero, right? Okay, so that's it for five. Let's keep going. In F20, calculate the US uh, beer consumption per capita in 2020 using the estimates from B part B. Format cell F20 as number with one decimal place. Well, in 2020, that's this year right now, right? So let's go ahead and um, estimate. Well, remember, well, if you, if you were to write the function, the function will be something like this, right? Y equals negative 0.14x plus 24.45, right? That will be the function. Um, so if we plug in, if you plug in for 2020, by the way, what number will you use for 2020? What you're going to need to figure out is, um, how many years since 1980 is year 2020 so what you will do is you, you know you will do 2020 minus 1980 right so our input is going to be 40 because 2020 is 40 years since 1980 but i'm just going to do all of that um this is going to be my x my x is um 2020 minus 1980 and i want to plug in this input into this function and we got that from using the slope and the y intercept so let's actually type in the whole formula in there so take a look for the 2020 estimate type in equal sign um click on the slope because we're going to multiply by the slope um but then what's our input that's going to be 2020 minus 1980 and then let me multi uh, add this uh to the y intercept of 24.45 if i do that Oh no, what happened? Let me double click and double check this. Did I do something wrong? I don't really see anything that I did wrong. Invalid cell reference error. Oh, I think I know exactly why, guys. Mm. You know how it, in math class, our class, when you just write a number in front of another number, well, we know that means it's multiplying, right? But Excel, we have to tell them. We have to tell them that I actually want you want them to multiply. So how about we type in multiplication symbol in between G12 and 2020 minus 1980. So um, let me hit enter. Now that worked. So that was what it was. Um, what I did wrong in the beginning was I mi I didn't type in the multiplication symbol. I just said G12 um, times. I was thinking that they will just multiply for me, but they didn't. Um, you need to type in the multiplication symbol in between the slope and your input, okay? And then if you hit enter, you will get 18.99 gallons per person per year. Um, I think they told you to format this as number with two decimal places. Uh, for me, the cell was already formatted the way they wanted. So I am done with that one. And you see how it's going down. I don't think that's necessarily true now with everybody stuck at home. Um, in cell F23, they want you to convert gallons per person per year oh, to pints per person per year. All right, let's see if you know that. Um, so, I mean, how many pints are in a gallon? That's what you're going to need to know, right? And um, when I was making these Google Slides for this beer homework, uh -huh, beer homework, I'm basically going over this um, slides, what I did. Um, I took a screenshot of this right here. So take a look. One gallon is equal to eight pints, right? One gallon is equal to eight pints. Oh, hold on a second. Guys, I'm noticing something. Did I format my previous cell wrong? I better go and double check. Uh, 
because I got it as 18.99, um, they wanted you to, no, oh, number with one decimal place. Oh, I almost lost the point there. Uh, number with one decimal place. See, that's why we got to read everything so carefully on these Excel homeworks. All right. Um, but we just talked about how we have eight pints in one gallon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply 19 gallons by what number? Eight. So we got 151. Well, I'm sure they told us how to round this or, or format this. They wanted this one with number with one decimal place again. Hmm. I need to follow their direction. So number with one decimal place. So I should get 151.9 pints per person per year. Okay. In cell F26, determine which of the sentences provide a plausible explanation for the drop in annual beer consumption per capita. Yeah, I know I wonder about this too. Why is this going down? And now they gave us two options to think about. So let's read those. Which of the following sentences provides a plausible explanation for the drop in annual beer consumption per capita? One, they said, the population is increasing. So all rates per person must go down. What are they talking about? Hmm. The second one, the population is aging. That's true, everybody's getting older. Meaning a higher percentage of population is over 65. Oh, so they mean like, um, I guess with like uh, medicine and, every, and everything, we live longer. So the higher we have um, people, um, who are over 65 we have more of them uh, and it is they said and the elderly drink less beer hmm all right I'll, I'll let you decide I'll let you decide I'm gonna stop this video and submit this uh, but you pick one and in case they said oh no you missed it just go with the second one okay all right hold on I selected what I thought was the answer for the last one I'm gonna go ahead and submit this right here with you um, and see how that went. Um, here it is. It says eight out of eight. And um, if you don't get eight out of eight, just click on go to student gradebook in my lab, and then click on it here, and you'll be able to see uh, what you missed, and you can fix it by looking at that rubric, okay? All right, I'll be back with the second one, Fruity, very shortly, okay?